Your body drive me crazy. Your body need a license fit. Your body are too tight and neat. Anybody who got eyes, she's a diamond. She's a diamond girl. She's a diamond. Diamond, diamond. Hi YouTube, it's Princess Diamond. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see today, I'm doing some small knotless boho box braids and I'm only using human hair for this look. The hair that I'm using is from YG Wigs. Now if you're interested in using synthetic hair as well as human hair, they do offer like this package deal thing where you can um, add for an additional $34.90, you can get their five-piece set where you would practically get everything you need to do these braids. So they give you a braid gel. I got their Shine and Jam in the red jar and two packs of Expression pre-stretched braiding hair. They also give you edge brush and a parting comb as well as two hair clips. Again, that's if you add their uh five piece set along to your bundles which is an additional 34.90 the hair that i'm using is their double drawn loose wave bulk human hair it's 18 inches i got three packs and i did use all three packs in fact i started to get a little worried i wasn't sure if i would have enough because i have such a big head this is how much i used for this is how much i did for one full pack so this is what we're looking like with one full pack of hair i did do i think about maybe a, another row and a half maybe um and then i caught it quits for that first day so this style overall took me two days i already knew it was going to take me two days i planned to stretch this out in two different days because i just knew it was going to take a lot of time plus i had my little girl and it was really a stop and go process i didn't do it all in one setting so the first day i think i took about four hours for the back and then the second day literally all day but again stop and go because i did have my little girl with me so don't even use that as a reference now as you guys could see as far as like the way i sectioned my hair i did do three sections so i did that back section first that's what i worked on first and then this little area that i'm cleaning up right now um, is still the back section i'm gonna do two more rows in this section so all together in this back section i ended up doing eight rows going across okay so i just wanted to show you guys exactly how i'm holding the hair to put it in because i know sometimes especially when you're doing braids on yourself it can get a little tricky but for each piece, um, for the first piece, I am leaving that curly hair sticking out of the braid. I'm gonna go back to my left hand and then I'm gonna grab another piece. This is the second piece now that I'm putting in. And with this piece, I am going to braid this within the braid. This is basically going to be like my second anchor. Um, and then I'm gonna get another third piece that I'm also going to braid in with the braid. So now this is my third piece. I'm going to braid this in with the braid. And now I'm just braiding down as far as I want to before I add my next curly piece that I want to stick out. So I kind of braid a couple inches and then I add my next piece. All right, so this piece that I'm adding in now is going to stick out of the braid because I still have my three anchors basically still good. So two things I wanna mention, since you're working with blunt ends, you're gonna have these pieces like you see right there sticking out. You can just snip those with scissors. And then the second thing is you're gonna have some pieces that are going to be shorter than the others or thinner than the others as you can see with what I'm working with right now so pay attention to how you're adding in your pieces or at least like how you're matching up your 
strands of hair to make sure that each strand is still going to have some curly hair added just to give it more strength so as you can see this piece right here that's the thinnest and the shortest so the next piece that i'm adding in is going to match up with the thinnest or the shortest just to make sure that each piece still has hair to braid with you don't want to just braid with your own braiding or with your own natural hair even if your own natural hair is long enough you still want to make sure you add a little bit more security i guess so i really wanted these braids to be full and give more of like a sewing look so what i did was just braid past my own natural hair and once i knew i was past my own natural hair then i just knotted it up to be honest if my hair was shorter i would have knotted it up a little further up the braid um again just to get more curly hair sticking out if you don't like that look braid it down as far as you would prefer um because this hair style is going to take a little bit more maintenance than if you were to just do regular knotless braids so as you see i have three pieces sticking out don't forget that I had that very first piece right there at the scalp and then the other two pieces sticking out the braid and then the piece at the very end y'all my head is bigger than a normal person's head so i already knew that i would be cutting really close with these three bundles than the average person so to make this style work when i did the first couple of rows in the back i only left out I think like the, maybe the first two rows I only left out one piece of curly hair and then as I went up higher like the next two or three rows I then left out two pieces of curly hair and then the whole top head the whole top of the head I left out three pieces of curly hair and this was just to make sure that I did have enough hair to do my full big old dome <laughs> I did like how it looked in the end. Again, I really wanted something very full, so I wanted to leave out as much curly pieces as I could. And after I completed the look, I realized that instead of spacing out the curly pieces that I was leaving out, instead of spacing it out as far out as I was spacing it, I would, I should have left them out closer together i hope that makes sense so like how you see where i put that second piece of hair sticking out i wish i would have put it a little bit closer to the first and then the third one a little closer to the second just because i wanted the curls to be fuller towards my head rather than lower down I still wanted the curls lower down, but I just really wanted the fullness more up top close to my head because I wanted to give that full, you know, sewing look, like I said. So I, if I would have had more hair, I probably would have done a couple more pieces sticking out. And if I had to work with three pieces or three bundles of hair, then those three pieces that I had sticking out, I would just put them a little closer together. I hope I'm making sense. And this is my first time doing boho knotless box braids on myself. And I'm just going to say that I'm never going back to doing regular knotless box braids on myself. Like if I have to do knotless box braids on myself, they're going to have to be with curls. They're going to have to be boho and they're going to have to be really full. I just love the look. I tried to stay away from doing knotless braids on myself. I had not done it in a while because I don't know, my head is just so big and I just don't like the way they look on me anymore. I had to just stop doing it. But with these curls, your girl is back with the knotless box braids. It's going to be this or my twist. You guys have seen me do my spring twist. This, this is going to be my signature look. I just adore it. Now, I know, I know, I know it's going to be a little bit more maintenance, but I'm perfectly fine with it. And to be honest, with the human hair, it's a lot easier to work with than if you were working with synthetic hair. So far, I've had the braids in for about 
three, four days as I'm recording and I've had no complaints, no issues. Wake up in the morning, uh, spray a little bit of water, leave-in conditioner or some mousse in it and just work through the curls. It doesn't take long at all. At least for me, it was very manageable. The curls were super soft. You guys see me take it out, the, out of the package. Super soft. I love the look of it. Ah, yeah, I'm definitely sticking with boho knotless braids if I do any type of knotless braids on myself. All right, you guys. So here is the finished result. I absolutely love, 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 love it. Like I said earlier, I would have wanted the curls to be a little bit more fuller there at the top. So next time I do this style on myself, I'm gonna make sure I put these curls a little closer together when they're sticking out, or put a little bit more pieces sticking out of each braid. But overall, I do love the hair. I love the braid, of course. Your girl did it herself. Now, y'all don't come for my braids since I did them on myself. They're not perfect, okay? But they're cute as long as the ending result is cute. So thank you so much to YG Wigs for sponsoring this video. So like I said, this is their loose wave hair and I use three bundles total for my big old head. I did need all three bundles, but for someone, if you have an average size head, you probably could get away with two, two and a half, but three bundles, you'll be good. Okay, and I realized I didn't tell you guys how many rows I did in the front. So remember how I sectioned that front, the front side into two halves? I did seven rows on each side going straight back. I don't remember or counted. I didn't count how many braids total I did. So like I said, eight rows in that back section that I did, seven rows in the front left, seven rows in the front right. So, so far in these clips that I'm showing you guys, I have not put anything in the hair as far as product. The only thing I've put in the hair is water. The hair does dry fairly quickly, also I noticed. Um, but in the upcoming clip right here, this is after I have steamed the hair. So you can tell the, the curls kind of loosen up a little bit, but as it dries, it does revert back into a more little tighter curl. Um, when you add any type of product or water as it's drying just make sure to scrunch it up a little bit just to get the curls to revert back but it's 100 percent human hair um so yeah i hope you guys liked the video if you did be sure to give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel let me know down in the comments below do you prefer doing boho braids with only human hair or do you prefer doing it with human hair and synthetic braiding hair let me know down in the comments below and i'll talk to you guys in my next video i hope you guys be blessed stay protected and stay filled with love and peace I say we think they